If you're getting deeper into professions and you want to focus on herbalism, then this is exactly the place you need to be to find out which route you need to be going. So let's not waste any more time and get right into it. All right, herbalism is an awesome profession and we're gonna check out all the different trees that you can spec into. So let's jump over into the game and find out what's going on. Before we get really, really deep into understanding all the different things that you can do within herbalism, if you don't have a good grasp on the profession system, then go ahead and check out that link right up above. That will bring you over to my video which explains the whole profession system in the War Within so you can understand what's going on. It's very, very different than the old system. A lot of you know that they revamped everything in Dragonflight. And it was really, really confusing to a lot of people, but that video should break it down for you in much more simplistic terms. But once you watch that, or if you understand what's going on, then let's go ahead and get into this. Now, when you're doing a profession, you're going to have different trees or specialization trees that you can spec into. We have Bountiful Harvest, we have Botany, and we also have Overloading and Underground. But today we're going to focus on Botany and why I think it's the best spec you should go into right off the bat. The reason why is because once you max out in botany itself, you're able to gather herbs while you're still mounted. That's right, the same way that you see druids flying around in bird form, dropping down, picking up their herbs, and then flying away. You will be able to do that too on your mount. And it may not come off as a very powerful thing, but the moment you get it and you see how much time you're saving, that's when you realize how powerful this ability is. Apart from putting the 40 points into botany and getting the ability to gather herbs while you're mounted, along the way at these milestones, you're gonna get plus 30 to deafness, 15 to perception, 30 to finesse, and another 45 to deafness. These little milestones do add up, and if you don't know what deafness and finesse and perception are, then that means you don't understand the profession system or you didn't watch the video that I mentioned earlier. Again, go watch that video. It'll make sense. Once you've maxed out in botany, you're gonna be able to go into cultivation or you can go into mulching. Now you don't have to start dumping your points into either cultivation or mulching. At this point, you would have unlocked the other specializations. I ended up going into Bountiful Harvest because at this point, you're able to convert or refine your lower tiered herbs into higher tiered herbs. But that's for another video. I want to keep these specializations separate. If you were to max out botany, which I think you should, and you decide to go into cultivation, then you're going to be focusing on increasing your perception while you're gathering herbs. And what that's going to do is increase the chances that you're going to find much more rare materials while you're farming for your herbs. Apart from that, you're also going to be able to collect verdant seeds. And what you do with these seeds is that you use them in hollow fall in the farming area. There'll be some soil on the ground, you plant the seed and it'll grow a random herb, which then you can pick and you've got that item. If you decide to go with mulching, you'll be focusing not on perception, but on deafness. And if we take a look at what deafness is, it's the speed at which you gather herbs. I think this is more of an end game specialization when you just have knowledge points coming in, you've gotten everything you wanted, you would probably put it into here so you can farm a lot faster. But that's all that we have for botany. It's a very, very simple specialization, but I do think that botany itself is the first and foremost specialization that you want to spec into. Just because you'll be able to farm all of your herbs while you're mounted and that's a huge plus. Now I don't have a druid, but for those of you who do have a druid and you went herbalism, I would love to hear your comments down below to hear what specialization you guys went into. So it's a really short video just to break down botany for you guys today. And if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm making a ton of World of Warcraft content and I'm really specializing in professions and how to make gold and all those things. And if you really, really like this content, and want to support the work that I'm doing, then feel free to check out my membership options here on YouTube. We've got a pretty cool theme with Conan the Barbarian and having our icon being the two snakes coming together over a black sun. And if supporting here on YouTube just isn't your thing, I'm also on Twitch. I stream in the mornings, Monday through Friday, doing my workouts at my gym here at home in the garage. But then we switch over and do our gaming streams in the afternoon. And if you want to support me over there, then by all means, come on over and hang out. Having said that, I hope you guys are having a fantastic time with the expansion, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.